Well, it's me again. This is Don Delano from the farm at Fairplex, home of the LA County Fair. Just checking in our seedlings. It's been a week now since we did them, and we've got a lot of little babies up. I just took the plastic lids off. They're starting to get up there. These two little seedlings have stretched a little too much, but we might be able to save them. The sunflowers are not too bad. The broccoli here and the lettuce here are doing really nicely. You can see the cotyledons right here and the true seed leaf coming up there in the center. It's time to move these out to higher light, get rid of this high humidity so that the seedlings don't stretch too much. Those are perfect height down there. Right there, that's our sweet basil coming up. And they're doing very happy, so we're gonna move them outside to a fairly bright area. And then the next day or so, get them out to almost full sun, about three quarters light, so it keeps the seedlings down. They got their first feeding right now with a weak solution of fertilizer, about half strength. And they're gonna move out to a nice bright area to get the humidity down, more intense light on them so that they stop stretching. Uh, the seedlings that haven't come up yet will continue to come up. They've already started to germinate. They just haven't pushed their heads above the soil yet, but they'll be nice and happy. So we'll be able to plant these in our garden in about two weeks. So again, this is Don Delano from the farm at Fairplex, uh, just checking out, but at my house today. Okay, this time I am so did you a few pictures from inside one of our seed germination sections. We can't always grow stuff outside here because of the temperature. We are restricted to growing things at a certain time of year when it's warm enough. For example, these pepper seeds, they usually will not germinate until the temperature is at least 75 if not 80 degrees. And so I can't start them outside. So if I want to get them in the ground by the end of April, the first part of May, which is a good time for the hot peppers to plant, I have to start them early. So we start them inside and you can do this inside a window area, uh, other places like that. But the trouble is you've got to make sure that they don't stretch. So you can see these peppers are growing nice and tall. They're not stretching, they're not getting leggy too much. These outside are a little bit taller than the ones inside here, but not too bad. They're running on artificial lighting here. These are LED lights. There's a double fixture here. There's two of them. And this is providing about 12 inches or so, 14 inches to the top of the plants. This is giving the peppers an approximately normal full day during April or May outside. And look at the eggplants here. They're doing quite well outside. Compare this to the peppers that I set outside to see if it was going to be warm enough. For them to grow. A couple weeks ago I transplanted those peppers we saw in four inch pots and they're just struggling and these inside I hadn't transplanted yet they're doing quite well they're looking a little healthier because it's not cold outside this room stays about 75 degrees. Because of the lights we have to sub water them so we put them in these non-drain trays so that we can add a little bit of water and soak it up. You have to be careful though if we continually add water to these trays and let them soak up they will start gathering too much salt and that comes a problem so Every once in a while, we'll take these trays and water them through the top to drain excess salt out and then put them back in the room and continue to let them to grow. So we've got a bunch of different plants growing in here. I'm doing quite well like that. We can also do cuttings like that. These are sage cuttings. You can see them growing inside the chamber here. Some didn't make it, but some did. You can see this one. Look at all these nice little rooting on this sage that we've got here. Doing quite well. That's tricolor sage rooting in the chamber. We've also got mints growing here. Now I have a few fungus gnats coming up just because it's really moist in here, so I have these sheets. I've got a yellow sticky sheet and I've got a blue sticky sheet. Each one attracts fungus gnats and other little critters to get onto the plants, so you have to be careful about that. And it helps track them so that I don't have to spray them here and keep the populations down. Now notice how these sages are kind of getting tall and leggy. I didn't notice this uh, last week. They're starting to stretch up. And that's because I only have one double fixture on this top one, where down here I have a two double fixtures. So I need to move these plants to a rack that has two fixtures on it or put another fixture on here running. And then I need to also take the top off so that these plants can now dry out. So I'm going to take the top off. They're all ready now. I'm going to let these cuttings get out in the air because the extra moisture on them is causing them to stretch or etiolate out. It means stretching of the inner nodes and the stem tissues. It's not the plants are growing really fast, they're getting leggy. Now, 
These cuttings will adapt and come out very well. I can pinch them back and get them to compact down when we take them outside. But drying them off for a couple of days like this, lower humidity will work. And then I will add a little bit more light to brighten them up like they're coming out of a cloudy day and coming into full light. On the other hand, these tomatoes here, and you can see all the roots down, these really need to get moved out. They're doing well. They're showing a little stress on them. These didn't get fed last week. I've been feeding twice a week in here and I didn't get a chance to feed last week. I just got a chance to water. And the shriveling of the leaves right here, and these park mocks are showing signs of lack of nutrients. They're showing signs of lack of magnesium, iron, calcium. So I need to get some fertilizer on them today so that will pop back out really quick. But if I let that go too long, it can cause a problem. Now, these peppers here, you can see how nice green they are. These got fed this week. These did not get fed this week. Look at this batch, they're lemon yellow. So if I feed them today in a couple of days, they're gonna be nice and green and they'll start growing again. Like this tray here that was fed. You can see the difference as it's going through like that. 